Hey everyone, welcome to this beginner workout. Today we're going to be doing 10 moves for 40 seconds on and a 20 seconds break in between each move. I'm going to be demonstrating all of them body weight, but if you're at a home and you have dumbbells lying around and you want to use your dumbbells, by all means, go ahead. I will leave that decision up to you. So let's get right into it, everybody. We're going to start with some lunges. So we're going to be right here and we're going to get one leg moving back and then we're going to switch legs every time, okay? So we're making sure that our back knee is getting close to the ground. We're keeping our torso nice and upright. And you're just going to go at a pace that you feel comfortable with. When you're doing your lunges, make sure that your knee is at the same direction as your toes. Okay, so when you look down, you want your knees and your toes to be facing the same way. Okay, keep it going here. You got 10 more seconds. And good, okay, relax. 20 seconds break. Next up, we have hand walkouts. Okay, so for your hand walkouts, you're gonna start at the back of your mats here. We go in three, two, one, let's go. So we're just walking out our hands right here and then just walk all the way back up. Just like this. When you get to the bottom of the position here, you wanna be in a nice solid plank position so you can squeeze your glutes a little bit and then you just walk it up. Good, keep it going here. Okay, you got time for one more at least. I'm gonna squeeze one more here. Okay, 20 seconds break. Next up, we're gonna be doing squats. So when you set up for your squats here, you can have your feet shoulder width apart or slightly wider, it's up to you. Your toes can face out a little bit, okay? So if you prefer having your toes in, that's great. If you wanna have your toes out a little bit, that's also good. Okay, so find the stance that allows you to do the movement properly. So here we're gonna go down and back up. I'm thinking about pushing the ground away from me when I come up, and that helps me to really squeeze the glutes at the top. So down. The goal here is to try to get your hips kind of below that, that knee level. Okay, a couple more. All right, nice work everyone. Next move, we're gonna be on your stomach. So let me demonstrate here. You got 10 seconds in the break. You're just gonna squeeze your glutes and just raise your chest slightly off the ground. Okay, from here, you're gonna reach forward and then back with your elbows. So let's get going here. Reach forward, reach back. We should feel this behind the shoulders, maybe in the upper back. And then if you feel like this is a little bit too much for you, you can lower your chest closer to the ground. Okay. Try to keep your elbows off the ground. And here you're really going to reach, reach, reach as far forward as you can and then pull the elbows back. All right, well done, everybody, come on up. Next up, we have some side lunges. So we're gonna get our feet nice and wide. Our toes can face out quite a bit on this one. And basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna drop on one side here, and I want you to keep your knee right above your ankle, okay, the whole time, and then you just come back up, and then we're gonna switch sides, okay? So let's get going here. So if we go down, knees above my ankle, push back up, switch sides. And here it's kind of the same rule. My knee is also in the same direction as my toes. Let's go one more on your side. 
No, all right, nice work. Next up, we have single leg deadlifts. We're gonna switch legs every time. So when I do my deadlift, I'm gonna get one leg up and I'm gonna think about tilting my whole body as one unit right here. And then on the way up, I'm gonna think about pushing the ground away from me, okay? And remember, we're gonna switch legs every rep. So let's get going. Right here and up. Now, if you're doing these and you feel like your balance is off, you can put your hand against the wall or against like any piece of furniture that you have around you. You can use support for this one. <laughs> 10 seconds. All right, good work. Let's switch it up. Next up, we're on the ground. A little bit of abs. So we're gonna do bicycle crunches. What's important for this one here is when you're doing your twist, like when you're doing this move right here, this leg has to reach as far forward as I can because then that, that way I get a good stretch and I'm gonna work my abs a little bit more. You're also gonna keep your elbows apart from each other. So let's get going right here. You can go as slow as you want. Remember, we're reaching as far as we can with our legs. Keeping the elbows apart. It's always better with ab exercises to go a little bit on the slower side and to always control every part of the rep. All right, oh, I feel that. We have three moves left, everybody. Next up, we're gonna squat. So quick demo here. We're gonna squat down, touch the ground, come back up, and then do the other side right here. Okay, we still got a little bit of a break though. Whew. All right, here we go. So we squat down, back in the middle, squat down the other side right here. Just back and forth. You're still trying to get your hips nice and low. And if you don't touch the ground, it's fine. Just reach for the ground. Ten seconds, everybody. Keep going. All right, good. Okay, we're gonna finish with two moves for our shoulders. We have push-ups and then we have a plank. So when we set up for the push-ups, you can do full push-ups or kneeling push-ups. Again, it's entirely up to you. What's important here is that you keep your shoulders above your hands, okay? So if there's a line on the ground where my hands are, I want my shoulders above that line. So let's get going. We go down and up right here. So that's, those are the kneeling push-ups right here. If you feel like you got the full push-ups, you can go ahead, do the full push-ups. And if you need like an in-between move, you can go down in a full push-up, put your knees on the ground to come back up, and then lift them up when you go down. Okay, keep going. Two more. Last one. Okay, let's shake it out. You have 20 seconds break, and then we're gonna do the plank. The plank, you can either go from your hands or from your elbows. It really doesn't matter. Both are gonna be working the exact same muscles. I feel like, personally, I like going on my hands a little bit better. I just find that a little bit easier, but that's just me. Okay, let's do it. What I want you to think about, whether or not you're on your hands or on your elbows, your shoulders should be right above your hands or if you're on your elbows, your shoulder is directly above your, uh, your elbow, okay? Your hips are leveled with your shoulders. You're not downward dogging like this and you're not sagging down either, okay? So let's keep holding, we got another 20 seconds. We wanna keep our abs nice and tight. And a little trick here, everybody, pull your hands towards your toes when you're doing that plank. That's gonna light up your abs. You're almost there. Whew. 
All right. And that's 10 minutes. Nice work, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your days. I'll see you around for another workout.